The Miss America pageant has been around for 100 years this year, often considered just a pageant. The organization has paved the way for many women to reach even higher goals. From lawyers to scientists, many former winners have proven it's not just about looking good in a swimsuit. This Women's History Month, Miss America 2004, Erica Dunlap talked to me about how the pageant not only showed her she could reach her own goals, but provides ideals for all women to be successful. I credit Leanza Cornette, who was the first Miss Florida to win Miss America. Um, I'm the second. And I credit her quite a bit for just showing me what it meant to be real and to be normal and to live a life that is um, full of fabulous flaws. <laughs> and like so many young girls, Dunlap's road to Miss America started in her living room, watching pageants with her older sisters. And back in those days, we would take a piece of paper and you would write out who your favorites were and you would have your top 10. And then if your girl made it to the top 10, of course, you would rejoice. And um, if your girl won, you were like, you won just as much as she did. But it was one particular winner who first inspired eight-year-old Erica. So the first Miss America that I really recall was uh, when Debbie Turner Bell won in uh, 1990. As an eight-year-old, I just wanted to be just like her. And she was just a representation of... Um, of what it meant to be smart and beautiful and talented and intelligent and all the things. She was she was just the ideal for me. And years later, when Dunlap competed for the Miss Florida title for the third time. When I found out that she was going to be a judge, that was my moment of truth because it was like, okay, all of these years have culminated to this very moment. She was everything that I imagined and she was six feet away from me. And um, you know, that was very special to know that she she was a part of um, tapping me, if you will. Dunlap won the Miss America 2004 title as the first and only Black Miss Florida. And with the crown came a legacy and a sisterhood. I would have pictures of different Miss Americas on my wall because I just felt like, I, I guess it was the beginning phases of a vision board, if you will. <laughs> so I envisioned them and I would look at them and I knew factoids about each and every one of them. And then for them to be my, my friends and, you know, to be sisters with them and to share life moments with them has been really exciting. And this year, Dunlop added a new title. Mom. And I'm looking forward to my daughter not only seeing what I have accomplished and setting her own goals to do those things, but I'm just excited that I have this network of people that I get to introduce her to and I get to envelope in her, into her life so that she is just a very well rounded individual. You know, I want my daughter to grow up to, you know, want to be a full package person, whatever that means. And to me, that means that. You recognize that you have some talent, you recognize that you have intellect, and you put it all together and you can put on a nice outfit and present it to the world. Every day is a beauty pageant for everybody. Because <laughs> literally, leave out of your house with a, a, a panel of unsuspecting judges. <laughs> and you have to present your very best self in order to win for the day. So, you know, every day is a beauty pageant. <laughs> Okay, I love that. Mm -hmm. And here's a fun fact. You saw her daughter, Mikkel, who is named after her late brother, and she's just so sweet. Yeah. So a lot of people think that in pageantry, you know, the girls don't get along and the girls don't like each other. Actually, unexpectedly, one of Erica's pageant sisters that she competed against, Miss Florida, in 2003, ended up delivering her baby. Erica oh my called her God. when she was having some, you know, questions during her pregnancy. And that woman, who is now an OBGYN, went to the hospital and delivered Erica's baby. So that sisterhood is forever. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and Julie, you're, I mean, you're an auntie now. I know, <laughs> sweet Mikkel, she's so sweet. You know, I could just talk about her all day. You know, oh. the hardest part of the story was not being able to put everything, the whole, yeah. entire interview in the story. Because, you need you know, several parts. Yes, a mini series, <laughs> if you will. I mean, my, I love when she just says, live a full life of fabulous flaws. Exactly. Because I mean, I mean we, all, we have all, all have our imperfections, but you yes. know what, as long as you know how to work them, they're not flaws. Right. And, they're, and they're just pros at building people up, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Even Miss America says she has flaws. So there you go. There you go. <laughs>